near the city of Bristol uh, in a very beautiful location and uh, to come to the lighthouse one has to pay a small fee of four dollars and kids under 12 they are admitted for just a dollar and the lighthouse is open until five o'clock today is Sunday uh, so they are open today. I'm not sure about the other days, but uh, with this fee one can go to the top of the lighthouse and you actually can see a few people right up there. Uh, the lighthouse faces beautiful North Atlantic Ocean and uh, there is a, a gift shop, an ice cream shop on this side of the property and there are actually some benches that one can sit and enjoy your ice cream there's also a small area uh, for ceremonies uh, private ceremonies and on the other side of the lighthouse you have a beautiful coastline that one can see as you can see here but uh, i am going to go to the top of the lighthouse get a glimpse of how it looks from up there this is how one can get upstairs there are 33 steps and as you can see it's a brick wall from inside and uh, I'm almost at the point where to go to the lens part and that's how it is so going up Signature. He's talking about the, the signatures. All right. On the light blinks. So there we no, are. The frequency, that's how they tell the signature, right? He said this one blinks yeah. every three seconds. Yeah. And that's this signature? Mm -hmm. It's a Fresnel Order 4, I think. That's what they say. What is it? Fresnel Lens. I think this is the Fresnel. Yeah, yeah. And it's. I think there are also number 5. This is Order 4 and it's automated, so it must be electric. Yeah. That's how the view from inside here. So it's a beautiful view of the ocean. Oh, Captain, reading the chart. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Mile. Oh, no. Oh. I can only get two of you. I'll make, maybe. No, I don't figure. This gets hot, or used to get hot. I don't know. Probably don't that that of bulb in there, but yeah, they probably have LED now. They, yeah, it doesn't it. get hot. It's got some heat. Yeah, yeah, of course. Not, not what it used to be. All right, guys, yeah. I'm heading down. Okay. Oh, is there a weight on that end? How does this thing work? Let me see. Where's that string? What? What's on the other end of that string? Oh yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a weight there. Yeah, just like the old um, windows. View from another angle, uh, I'm on the side of the lighthouse facing the ocean and there stands the lighthouse and the building next to it and look at the view from this point, beautiful coastline. and one can actually see an island that is about 10 miles from this point and yeah, I'm just going to pull it up there you see Ocean. As you can see, the beautiful striations.
So this is another attraction in the Bristol uh, area. This is a village called Damariskada and this is the river Damariskada that flows through it. And the specialty about this part of the river is some 2,500 years ago, the American Indians that they used to inhabit this uh, locale, they discarded the eaten shellfish, oyster shells, etc. And what the heap that you see here, it's called midden, is the result of that accumulation. Uh, they said this uh, was on both uh, sides of the river, but now only one remains because the other one was consumed for some uh, reason. Uh, for some factory. These are calcium rich deposits. They not only have oyster shells, but also the bones and so on. But this is what it remains. You can see it's uh, roughly 30, 40 feet, uh, several hundred feet in length. And they say it extends beyond uh, for about uh, 60, 70 feet. Can't take a closer look here a lot, but uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, it's very sparsely populated. There's nobody here. So this is Damari Skata River. And on the left side is a salt bay. So essentially the water is brackish. And this is about 11 miles north of Pemiquid uh, Point Lighthouse, uh, which is in Bristol. And really have beautiful uh, music venues here. There was a live music yesterday. Of course, this is Maine, so they sell a lot of lobster. But uh, this is a very nice, serene place. And they say 80% of the oysters that are sold in Maine, they are harvested in this river because the salt water is just right for the production of oysters. So the specialty about this is, this is a twin village the Demaris Kata and right across or uh, right next to it is Newcastle and this is the bridge that actually separates the two and there is a sign here that you this sign you cross that and you're in Demaris Kata and on the other side right now I'm in Newcastle just a few feet away a uh, very beautiful main street so this is a good attraction to see uh, if you are coming by Pemeku Light. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching and happy travels.